I am extremely annoyed that someone just left all of their junk in my driveway and on my husband's truck bed overnight. Seriously, take your own stuff to the dump. Honestly, I would just do basically the lazy man's dump and return it back to the neighbors. You know, just uh, put it all in the bed of the truck, have the truck bed gate down, and then just floor it in reverse and slam on the brakes. Momentum takes care of the rest. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash I am a total POS, and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing show your support and to see more content like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below and if you have not already subscribe and turn on those notifications okie dokie let's go while many of us have received hate messages since taking office i have only recently started sharing them because i realize the public needs to know and understand that every bit of hate and anger we stoke feeds into the problem not quite sure why weather was selected as the topic but uh, that's not part of the point don't be surprised when you're a low IQ, poorly educated, and morally bankrupt pinko trainers are dragged from your beds in the middle of the night and hanged by your neck until dead by the righteously angry parents of your community. I will be cheering them on. White men built all the best things in this world. Every other civilization is inferior. George Floyd was a 70 IQ, nauseatingly hideous, eskin subhuman, and I laughed and laughed and laughed when that home invaded cried for his dead w of a mother i hope he suffered greatly as he died you are a welcome you ungrateful subhuman torture deserving for i think i honestly know a site that everybody that's wondering if they want to look into this knows where they can look at because i feel like i've covered this kind of stuff on the channel seriously the second they heard the word subhuman i felt oh wait this sounds familiar not even in a joking manner and i'm honestly wondering why main media sources haven't covered that specific site or its branches of sorts. 36 kilograms of explosive used for a gender reveal party in the U.S. blast shakes homes 32 kilometers away. Parents-to-be used around 36 kilograms of explosives for a gender reveal party in the U.S. Kingston, leading to a blast that shook houses over 32 kilometers away. Some nearby residents even reported property damage and some thought it was an earthquake. No injuries were reported, police said. The person who bought and detonated the explosives had turned himself into police. Look, you would kind of think that after the wildfire, people would know, but nope, unfortunately, they don't. Seriously, what happened to just, like, cutting into a cake and the cake is dyed a specific color or opening up a box and balloons flow out? No, when did this become everybody needing to one-up each other? Honestly, I bet with the way things are going and this kind of stuff, about 10 years from now, we're gonna either get a pink or blue Chernobyl. Fake virus vaccines have been discovered by Pfizer in Mexico and Portland. Does anybody even have any motive to be faking these kind of things? Like, seriously, they're being given out for free, so there's no monetary gain by making counterfeit ones to sell. New Mexico spa owner faces 24 charges after a vampire facial clients test positive for HIV. Okay, everything in this article is piecing it together to make me never want to figure out what in the world a vampire facial is. A dear blank, as elders of the Woodstock congregation, we have the responsibility to watch out for the souls of each member of this congregation. As we have previously stated, we feel it is crucial to remind you that our Lord has considered it vital that no one can be involved in homosexuality and be in a pleasing relationship with God. We sent you a letter in the second week of December of 2020 that confirmed by the USPS as delivered on December 10th, 2020, a copy of that letter is enclosed. In that letter, the eldership requested an opportunity to discuss with you the situation and the condition of your soul. We have not received a response to that letter. In light of your apparent lack of desire to hear our concerns, apparent lack of willingness to repent, and the public display of your homosexual lifestyle, we have no alternative but to withdraw our fellowship with you and must no longer treat you as a sister in Christ. Please understand that this is an effort to encourage in you a godly sorrow leading to repentance. This greatly saddens us because while we can no longer fellowship you as a sister, we do care for your soul. Our prayer is that one day you will repent and return to the Lord. When that day comes, we will receive you with open arms and love like the Father received his crying son in the parable of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15. 
please understand that we love you and pray that you will repent, seek forgiveness, and return to the fellowship of our Father in Lord's Church. We pray for your spiritual well-being. If we fail to hear from you by April 30th, 2021, we would understand you are not repentant and do not desire to be forgiven of your sinful behavior. That being the case, an announcement to that effect will be made to the Woodstock Church of Christ on the following Sunday. We will announce that we have withdrawn fellowship from you following efforts to establish to establish a dialogue to persuade you to repent. Your name will be removed from our membership role until you decide to make your life right with the Lord. It is important that you understand after fellowship has been withdrawn from you, Christians must not interact with you except to encourage you to repent and seek forgiveness. 1 Corinthians 5:11 through 13 and Ephesians 5:11. Blank. It is our sincere hope that our fellowship will one day be restored. When that day comes, the rejoicing at the Woodstock Church of Christ will only be exceeded by the rejoicing in heavens. Luke 15:10. Until that day comes, you will not be considered a member of the Church of Christ. I might not have the Bible memorized in my mind from the beginning to the end because seriously, that's like a 1,000 page book, but I can certainly play somebody's own game against them. You know, the good old cherry picking little passages to try to push your own motive. Here's the one that actually pushed your motives backwards from the same book. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearful and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139, 113 to 14. Sexual identity and gender identity are components of a person's personality and as such are part of who God made each of us to be. That's just the first one. If you guys want to read the other ones, feel free to pause it and check it out. So, dum-dums, who decide to write out that original letter? Um, you do realize that your own thing contradicts itself numerous times. Isn't your whole thing supposed to be about welcoming everybody with open arms? Delhi, elderly couple run over by 28-year-old. A 79-year-old man and his 62-year-old wife were run over by a car allegedly driven by a 28-year-old woman after she lost control of the vehicle in Dwarka. Police said the couple were out for an evening walk on Sunday. Woman, blank, probably the driver, was arrested after an FIR was registered and she was released on bail. Police said she was not under the influence of alcohol. During questioning, she said she was thinking about something when she was driving, the officer said. So let me get this straight. You were so stupid that having a thought process was too much of a strain for your motor skills to be able to operate a vehicle? This is the type of person that can't chew gum and walk at the same time. This all on top of being released from bail after running two people over. Homeless ex-wife of Baywatch star Blank spotted trash diving in Santa Monica. I used to find TMZ funny because Gabriel Iglesias had a few jokes on him, but honestly, it's no they're just no more different than pigeons and seagulls of the media, honestly. Really aggressive paparazzis that will like go over and after anybody, regardless of morals, I honestly don't like at all. Like, hey, this person's having a really bad week. Let's shove 10 cameras in their faces. That'll definitely make it better. This elementary school was heavily vandalized Friday and Saturday. Due to the extensive damages, our on-site learning program will be relocated to this location starting Tuesday, January 19th, 2021, until further notice. This will allow our maintenance team to thoroughly clean and make repairs so that the building is safe for staff and students. If your student attends the on-site learning program, please use the Fighting Colt Drive entrance at blank to drop them off and pick them up. The schedule remains the same, meals will still be provided for them at this location, and our support staff will also be at blank with our students. Thank you for your patience and understanding. I'm sorry, why do there exist people that think they got nothing better to do, so let's just go destroy a property? To all the tenants, no mask, no entry in the building, no exceptions, it is the law. It's not the law, so arrest me then. Oh, I see you only blurred out your name. Why don't you tell them which apartment you're in so they can come up and just, uh, you know, have a little chit chat with you. And with that last dead brain cell killed off, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and to see more content like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below and if you have not already subscribe and turn on notifications i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and bye bye